Good morning, and this morning I've got a really quick unboxing for you, and uh, it's this here. Now, I haven't done anything about the Switch for a while, uh, so I thought I'd spend a little bit of time on the Switch, and uh, I was looking at controllers, and so I ended up buying this. Now, what that is, is the Gully Kit, I don't know if you can see that, King Kong 2 controller. And uh, let me just lift it up so you can see that. The Gully Kit King Kong 2 controller. And the reason I started looking at that was because I've been looking at stuff about drifting and stuff. And apparently this controller doesn't have drift on the sticks. And it's got something called hall sensors. Now, the difference with those is that there's no actual connection inside. So there's nothing rubbing. Normally, with a controller, you've got basically a thing inside that does that, and it rubs, and over time it gets worn out. With this, it's not, because it's magnetic, so it shouldn't develop drift, which is a good thing. Now, I'd actually like to see one of these for the Xbox, if it's any good, and I will do a video talking about if it's any good or not. But for the time being, this was the only one available, so I thought I'd get a hold of one, see what these hall sensors are like, and I'll let you know in a future video. But for now, I'm just gonna unbox it. Some little tabs at the top here, so I need to cut those. And this one's been out for a while, but I've literally only just discovered it myself, so uh, I think there are other videos out about it. And what do we get in the box? We get a cable, it looks like quite a long one, flat one, and it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it's USB-C, which is nice. Most stuff for the Switch is USB-C these days. Well, I think all of it, actually. And it comes with a hard case. And, well, we've got some stickers, some sort of the yeah, blurb for different things they sell, and online gamepad tester and debugger which you can presumably download. And this will work with PC as well, so that's quite handy, if it's any good. And shows you all the different stuff that you can do to calibrate. Now, I'll talk about that, as I say, in a, in a future video, because there is quite a lot you can do with this, as I understand it. But for now, let's just get it out and have a look at it. First things first, the hard case is really practical. It's gonna keep it nice and safe. So that's good, especially given that when this arrived, the guy from Amazon threw it over our gate, which was nice. Fortunately, it was in another box, as you saw when I started the unboxing video. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully it survived. It should do, it's in this, and then in the other box, and now in this as well. So with a bit of luck, it's, uh, it's okay. But yeah, I like this in terms of its protection. In terms of its aesthetics, it's uh, ugly as sin. But hey, you know, we're not really bothered about that, are we? Uh, I do like the ones for the Xbox. I think the, the, the case, the hard case for the Xbox are, are lovely for the um, Elite controllers. But this does the job. I mean, look at that. Probably have to run it over with a car to do any real damage. But how's it open? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a... Uh, you're more likely to drop the case, drop the bloody controller trying to open the case, to be honest. There you go, it opens. And there's the controller. And first impressions, the controller actually looks just like an Xbox controller with a few extra buttons. And let's lift it up. So we've got the usual, we've got the plus and minus button, we've got the home button and the uh, capture button. And then there's these two extra buttons here which uh, presumably are for a sign-in and stuff like that. But like I say, I'll get into that in another video. For now though, as I say, the first impressions of it are really good. And it feels really nice in the hand. If you turn it over, I don't know if you can see that, but this has actually got some grips on here and they are really nice when you're holding it. You do feel like the controller's not gonna slip out of your hand. And that's always a good thing. So if we look on here as well, I don't know if you can see this, We've got, you can assign it to Windows, Android, and presumably that's for the Switch. Can't really see it from where I am, but you should be able to see it on screen. That's your button that you press to assign it to your Switch, 
presumably, you know, you press and then hold and it flashes and then it will assign it. So that's that. And then you've got your USB connector. And then we've got the paddles here. They feel all right, actually. I quite like those. And then these triggers, which have those hall sensors that I was talking about. Now, these are analog, but obviously they're not going to be analog on the Switch because I don't think any game has analog input on the Switch. And while they are analog, I don't know if you can see, but they've got a very, very short throw on both sides. Very short throw. And there's no stoppers or anything to, to change that as far as I'm aware. So, yeah. They're all right, but if you're doing a driving game, I'd like a longer throw for something like a driving game. But other than that, they feel fine and they got a nice curve on them so your fingers aren't going to slip off. Again, I'd like some grips on here, but they're, they're, they don't have those. Got them on the new Xbox controllers, which is nice, but I, I don't think your fingers going to slip off those too, too easily. But then we get to the uh, control, well, the thumbsticks, if I can remember what they're called. Uh, and they feel all right. They're, they, they've got a kind of feel of them, of a, again, of a kind of Xbox controller. They've got that same tension as an Xbox controller. I think the PlayStation controller, the DualShock or the DualSense is a bit stiffer. Uh, the actual area where you put your thumb is a little bit small for my liking, but that'll be dependent on your hands. And they feel okay. I mean, obviously they've got these hall sensors and uh, I don't know, with the hall sensors, there's no moving parts. So in, in the sense, there's nothing touching. So, uh, you know, you've got this thing where, where things on normal controllers are doing this. And as I've said before, they're not doing that on here. Uh, there, there's no touching parts as opposed to moving parts. There are moving parts, but there's no touching parts. So they shouldn't wear out. So you shouldn't get stick drift. And it should presumably mean that the triggers are a, a little bit more durable as well. So that's all right. I think they're okay. And like I say, they're a little bit small, but they feel like they might be responsive. Uh, so we'll have to see with that. The D-pad, D-pad feels a little bit slippy to me. I'd feel like my thumb would fall off it. Uh, it's not a huge deal for me. Those of you who play a lot of fighting games and a lot of side scrollers may not like this, but it feels okay. It's, I think it would be quite responsive. We'll see when I start playing with it. Um, but for now, it feels okay. These buttons all feel all right. And you've got A, B, X, Y, which are in odd positions. But, uh, <laughs> well, they're for, they're for <laughs> I say odd, they're the Nintendo ones, aren't they? A, B, uh, X, Y is Nintendo. Um, I prefer the Xbox layout, but it is what it is. But yeah, that, from first impressions feels like a decent controller. Now, if it doesn't play well and it loses connection and it drifts and all the rest of it, which it shouldn't do, uh, then it's obviously not a good controller. But like I say, on my first impressions, it feels like an Xbox controller. It feels a little bit lighter than an Xbox controller. That's, that's my impression anyway. Um, but yeah, I like it. I do like it. And uh, I think probably the, the worst thing about it on first impressions is that stupid bloody name. <laughs> Giddy Kit King Kong 2 controller. Yeah, okay, I'm sure they could have come up with something better than that. But, but, the hard case is, is decent, if ugly. The controller seems perfectly decent. And uh, I will be playing with it for the next week or so. And I will make another video if uh, you guys are interested and say if I think it's any good or not. But for now, that's me done. First impressions, it's a decent controller. And uh, I, going to drink this, which is coffee, because uh, it's early in the morning and I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> but uh, I will speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.